Hey everybody, Tom here. This time on Let's Geek Out on Unica, we're talking offer strategy. That's coming up next. This is a continuing series we've been doing on offers and offer management. Um, we're here with Matt Anderson, uh, and Matt's going to bring it down to a little bit more reality today um, in showing us how we're bringing offers into an actual campaign. So we'll turn it over to you, Matt. In the last couple of uh, videos, Tom talked about offers and different kinds uh, of offers or different types. Here is a, an example of a uh, type of offer, a buy uh, a BOGO offer, a buy one, get one offer. In this case, buy one, get two. Uh, you'll notice um, that the, the offer is made up of elements. So uh, you have a title, the buy one, uh, get two. You have uh, some copy this week on select handbags, and that can be personalized. Uh, you have the call to action button, the, the shop now but, uh, button. You have the image um, behind it uh, that can be personalized based on, on, on customer segmentation. And then underneath the covers, you have a hyperlink that uh, takes you to a, uh, a landing page for that particular uh, offer. Now, uh, Unica does very um, uh, unique things with offers that you're not able to do um, in, in other uh, technologies. And so the first is really around personalization. So as I'm um, creating campaigns and I'm segmenting customers, let's just say that I have, uh, to keep it simple, two segments here. I have a woman's uh, handbag segment. And, and the second uh, segment is a, a segment for women's shoes. And I can personalize the the images and the text like this week on select handbags um, based on uh, which segment that customer falls in. So this is uh, the power of, of personalization with respect uh, to offers. The other thing is Tom talked about with that Mercedes ad is that I can start testing um, different versions of that offer. So I have a buy one, a generic buy one, get one offer. I might uh, create other versions of it, such, such as a buy two, get one, a buy three, get one. And I can start assigning them to segments, running those campaigns, sending them out uh, to those customers to see how they're responding or not responding. And then I could um, send out the, the winning um, of those offers to, uh, to the remainder. Um, so it's a, it's a, a good feedback loop that I can use as part of my offer strategy. So this is really around testing. Then the third thing that Unica does uh, very well is what, what I call offer arbitration, or when you have many uh, offers or messages or promotions um, targeting those uh, targeting customers, uh, deciding which are the best handful to target uh, those customers. So in this case, maybe you know I have a simple example of three different offers in uh, one campaign uh, that are targeting uh, the individuals in, in that campaign. The other thing with offers is that you can deliver these across uh, any channel. So uh, you know basically Unica is telling those channels like the email service provider, like the websites, like the messaging platform uh, or the kiosk, uh, which which messages in content, uh, to display uh, in, in those uh, channels or, or screens. And then those channels will grab the content, you know, from a content management system uh, to display. One thing that's interesting uh, or new in version 12 of, of Unica is uh, now uh, tighter integration between the offer man uh, management capability and uh, content management system. So a marketer, as they're creating offers in their planning phase, they can go in and actually select uh, the content from those systems. And, and then uh, the question really comes down to how do you actually roll all of them up and, and how can you track uh, performance? Uh, you know, how, uh, if you look at individual offers, um, we have the capability to write them uh, every impression to contact history and then track how customers are responding for very granular reporting. And we can do that across segments and we can do that across campaigns so that you can uh, view them in, in reports. Great. Thanks, Matt. So that gives us a real good feel of how offers are used within campaigns. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how we're going to use some of the tools in, uh, in Unica to manage that offer lifecycle. So we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.